What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder. I'm Warren Thompson and a lot of people have had a lot to say about the way Marvel Studios has been going lately. Of course, I know a lot of people are still loving the MCU, but there have been a lot of complaints and many people have stated that they wish the MCU would go back to how it was during phases one through three. Well, it looks like that actually might be Disney and Marvel Studios' plan for the MCU going forward. Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige has recently spoken up about doing quality over quantity as far as the MCU is concerned, but today, Disney CEO Bob Iger spoke about the future of their content, as he called it, in franchises like Star Wars and Marvel. And if you've been enjoying Phase 4 of the MCU, that is awesome. There are many projects that I have enjoyed myself personally, and I I'm really looking forward to seeing how everything is going to come together in phase five and phase six. But if you haven't enjoyed it as much as the other phases, well, keep your hopes up because based off of what Bob Iger has said, things are about to get a lot better for the MCU. And if you are an MCU fan, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the latest videos. So Bob Iger talked about a lot of important news today, but in order to kind of understand this, you have to know what Kevin Feige said a few weeks ago, because they both go hand in hand. And basically in an interview, Kevin Feige was asked about the future of the MCU. When specifically talking about the Disney Plus shows, he said that we are going to see a change soon. Then the interviewer asked him if we are going to see a change in the free frequency that Marvel Disney Plus shows are released, or if the Marvel shows are just going to be spaced out more from now on, which is kind of the same thing. Kevin Feige replied with both, I think. Now, Kevin Feige said this in an interview with EW. He specifically said the pace at which we're putting out Disney Plus shows will change so they can each get a chance to shine. He also said that there is so much content out there, but we want Marvel Studios and the MCU projects to really stand out and stand above. So basically he confirmed Marvel Studios is now going to be focusing on quality. And today, Bob Iger essentially said the same thing. He also talks about some newness, as he says, coming to the MCU and the new Avengers, which we'll get to in just a bit. So today, this was at the Morgan Stanley conference where Disney CEO Bob Iger spoke. And he started off by saying this, that Disney is closely examining all aspects of its content business across film and TV as it plots the best path forward in a tricky media environment that includes a linear TV business in decline, a theatrical film business with an uncertain future, and a streaming business that is growing but requires a path to profitability. He then said that the company is going to be specifically looking at how much it's spending on content. And here's where he really speaks about what the plan is moving forward with their content. He says, I'm really pleased that the support that I'm getting from the content creators of the company is significant and real, and it comes in the form of reducing the expense per content, whether it's a TV series or a film, where costs have just skyrocketed in a huge way and not a supportable way in my opinion. They all agree to that. Understanding how much volume we need, reducing how much we make. So it's how much we spend on what we make and how much we make. So right here, Bob Iger states that they're going to be reducing the content that they make. And he clarifies and goes on to say this again. He says, and as we look to reduce the content that we're creating for our own platforms, there probably are opportunities to license to third parties. But before you go on to worry about Marvel or Star Wars or something like Frozen being licensed to another platform, don't worry. He did add that the core franchises like Marvel, Star Wars, etc., are going to remain exclusive to Disney's owned platforms. But here's where he specifically started talking about Marvel and how they kind of had an issue lately with Phase 4. And Phase 5 specifically talking about the 69% drop in the box office that Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania did, which broke a record for the newest low for Marvel Studios. So when specifically talking about the state of Marvel Studios and moving forward with it, he stated, What we have to look at at Marvel is not necessarily the volume of Marvel storytelling but how many times we go back to the well on certain characters. Sequels typically work well for us, but do you need a third or a fourth, for instance? Or is it time to turn to other characters? There's nothing in any way inherently off in terms of the Marvel brand. I think we just have to look at what characters and what stories we are mining. And here's where he gives us a tiny little glimpse into the future of Marvel. 
He states, and if you look at the trajectory of Marvel over the next five years, you'll see a lot of newness. Now we're going to turn back to the Avengers franchise, but with a whole set of different Avengers as an example. So a lot of newness coming to the MCU pretty soon. I truly do think that phase five is going to be different than phase four. And then jumping into phase six and phase seven, it's going to get really, really exciting. And I think that's where a lot of the newness comes in. Now he did say we're going to see a whole new set of different Avengers, but we pretty much know almost everybody, I would say. I think what he is specifically talking about here is that this Avengers team is a lot different than the original Avengers team, which is totally true. But there are some important things that are happening that are going to change Marvel Studios. One is what we already talked about, what Bob Iger said and what Kevin Feige said. They are going to essentially reduce the content that they are creating. This gets clarified if we revisit what Kevin Feige said. They are going to produce less Disney Plus shows. Now, this could be good or bad, depending on your view on how the MCU has done so far with the Disney Plus shows. Some have loved every show that's come out. Some haven't really liked any, and some like some, and some don't. I'm in the middle there. Some I really love, some I really didn't like, and some I'm okay with. So in my mind, if we can cut out those that just aren't good and just keep producing the ones that are really good and make them even better as far as quality is concerned, the MCU is going to get a lot better. Plus this gives the crew and the employees that work on each of these projects a lot more time to devote to one specific project rather than having to rush to get something done because the next project is right around the corner, which Marvel Studios employees like visual FX engineers and such have actually said they have spoken up about this already. So if you've been concerned about the quality, whether that is the CGI because everybody talks about the CGI or the storytelling, as I've talked about a little bit, all of that should be improving rather soon. Now, of course, this is probably going to lead to some delays. We've already talked about that in a few videos. If you've happened to miss those videos, just kind of expect some MCU delays to come for phase five and phase six. We haven't heard anything about any shows or movies being canceled, but most likely it's just going to be stretched out. So each project will probably be delayed by a little bit. Of course, this sucks to hear, but again, it's coming from a great place of Marvel Studios trying to get better all around at producing great content. And the other part of the newness that Bob Iger is talking about is, of course, the X-Men and the Fantastic Four. He said within the next five years, well, within the next five years, we're going to be in phase seven, which means the X-Men are coming. Marvel Studios has told us enough to where we know that they're really saving the new X-Men and the MCU for phase seven after Secret Wars. And we know phase six is going to be crazy with the Fantastic for Avengers the Kang Dynasty and Avengers Secret Wars. So if you're a little frustrated with Marvel, just hang on tight because I think it's about to get insane again. And if you've been loving it this entire time, then great news, you're gonna love it even more. But hey, let me know all of your thoughts and your feelings in the comments down below. Have you liked it so far? Have you not? Are you concerned? And what are your thoughts about this new news? Let us know in the comments down below and don't forget to like the video and subscribe so you can stay up to date on the latest MCU news. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Twitter. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.